Uh, busy, keeping busy, working hard, um, loving Web3, looking forward to finding ways to get creative people involved. We've been right. super interested in finding ways to get creatives um, into Web3 um, in, a, in a good way, you know, not this right. sort of weird rug pulley stuff or whatever. <laughs> you know, that stuff sucks and yeah. it breaks my heart every time because, you know, you build, you can build a community, but instead mm-hmm. it gets weird, you know. And so yeah. we're, we're looking forward and watching things mature, and it's, it's been awesome. And the Internet Computer for us, for me, it's pretty much the only – platform that can actually host the creative assets inside of it mm-hmm. and use smart contracts like mm-hmm. right in i mean like your film or music could literally be part of a smart contract literally it's hosted right, right there you know and so to me this is just an unbelievable platform it know? is it is and so let's kind of unpack that um process maybe for someone who one <clears throat> doesn't know what the internet computer is let's just set that basic level can you define what the internet computer protocol is yeah. or the IC is, um, and we'll take it from there. Yeah. Well, I mean, and that's the question is, like, what's different? I mean, people have heard of, a, you know, hundreds of different blockchains at this point, you right. know, but uh, when you look at the capabilities, the thing that stands out for me, the internet computer, is that idea that it's it has this, like, cloud functionality. Mm-hmm. So when things, you upload them, and, and that is becoming more and more permissionless and available. These tools are being built, uh, you know, Daniel who is at this conference, he's been working on ways to help people get that stuff directly into the internet computer themselves. And that's going to be a huge, huge impact. You don't have to go through someone else. You can just upload it. And and I've seen, I mean, we are working on it together in some cases and watching this stuff literally, oh, you have an amazing photograph that you want to, like, do anything with. Just upload it like you do to Google Drive. And then what? After that, the sky's the limits with something like this. Do you want to have a gate, you know, like Jesse's personal doll thing. Do you want to have a piece of art? Do you have to have someone's piece of art in order to be in their art DAO or whatever? I mean, oh, I mean, it's just, you could do almost anything with yeah. it. And that, you know, that's really cool because that's not like the normal internet. Yeah, and I think it, <clears throat> it is this open internet concept mm-hmm. that enables or really opens up Web3. Right. Like you're talking about the storage, uh, websites, mm-hmm. media, large file size media as yeah. well. I mean, at 400 gigs, I think is the is the cap. I haven't tried that oh, yet. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I haven't tried that one yet, but you know, like uh, Carl was mentioning with his his project with creators, no code creators. Like, th- none of this is going to really take off and be big unless we get more of the creators seeing a way for them to make this a part of their livelihood. And their community stuff. Right. And that is, you know, I think the tools are coming, but, you know, right. it takes time. And the DAO tooling, I've been, <clears throat> those of you who follow me on the <coughs> on Twitter at IC Bieber, you know, I've been whining about where's the DAO tooling, where's the DAO tooling. And it's coming now. And Jesse's working on that. Other people are working on that. But uh, I've seen some things where you can even use people who have collections of, of, you know, creative assets can vote on a project. Like, just because on the Internet Computer View, if you have that NFT or other, you know, verified digital asset, you can, right. that's a vote. That could represent a vote. Right. So, like, DAOs aren't just tokens. They could right. also be photographs or right. music, you know, music. Do you have three out of our five singles, you know? Well, then you get to vote on where we go on tour. Like, that can all be possible, and I think it's going to be very, very cool in the future, yeah. Yeah, and I think all the narratives that we're seeing in this, this very odd market that we're in I mean, now. Yeah, but it's crazy. It's a roller coaster, right? right? AI, you know, you can do that on yep. ICP. Yep. Uh, real world assets, you can do that on ICP. Decentralized mm-hmm. physical infrastructure, you could do that on ICP. Mm-hmm. So that's once again demonstrates the value proposition of this network. And um, that's why I'm fascinated by it. I'm still learning more about it. And um, I just. It's like a completely different rabbit hole, right? You fall into the Bitcoin right. rabbit hole. This is its own rabbit hole, right. and I'm I'm still trying to find my way I, through and it. And you know, Bitcoin is great, of course. That's yeah. the Gen One, Ethereum Gen Two. There's a plenty of other like improvements on the Gen Two. Like I would say, even like Solana is a massive improvement in a lot of things, speed and things. But this is like generation three. It's a different generation of right. internet computers, not like those ones. And I think uh, Dominic Williams did a good job yesterday during the conference of 
mentioning how it's just different. It's not meant to compete. It's just uh, fill in the gaps and add new ways that Web3 can actually happen because you cannot literally, and I, I counsel people against this all the time, don't try to build this massive thing on, on just Ethereum using that. It's not nice. $50 gas fees for your people right. to do anything. On right. the internet computer, it's virtually, I mean, it's extremely inexpensive and often covered by the platform itself. Like, so... If we want people to use it, stop making them pay 50 bucks to, like, send something to somebody. Because right. who's going to do that? Right. Like, that's insane. The things yeah. shouldn't even be 50 bucks. You don't need 10 I mean, maybe super valuable things, which is the case for, like, Bitcoin or a lot of Ethereum stuff. Yeah, if it's, like, you're sending somebody a house, maybe you want something super secure that costs 50 bucks to send someone the deed to the house. That's great. But, like, trading cards, I mean, this is... This isn't right. You know, it's not nice. It's not nice to ask everyone to join that. And so that's one of the things I love about the internet computer is that it's actually possible to be nice to your community and let them have affordable things. Like, the 50 bucks is crazy. You know, the gas fees. And I know they've been working hard on scaling out that stuff, but it just makes it more complicated. This is all, this is for the most part everything you need, except for if you really want to make it the most absolutely locked down. I mean, nothing's better than Bitcoin for that kind of stuff security-wise. I mean, it's just super decentralized and very strong, but it doesn't do much, you know. Although they would say, you know, ordinals and whatnot. Yeah. And I kind of want to go back to what you mentioned a little bit uh, earlier around uh, film production and film release yeah. in Web3 mm -hmm. using ICP. What does that look like for you? Um, I, I know that we're seeing projects like Tracks, where we're, we're seeing that with music. Yep. How is it going to look with film? Are there any projects right now that are going on, or how do you envision it? You know, I've, I've been trying for three years since Genesis to kind of help collaborate on that, and I don't, it's a, film's a little bit more complicated of a medium because inside of every film you, of course, have music, and there's, like, rights mm -hmm. to, you know, there's, right, I mean, right. like, like, that's a piece of art. That's, you just have a lot more collaborators with film, and so one of the things I've, it's a dream, and I've been working on it since day one, called the Stoken Protocol, and we haven't really talked too much about it lately, but the idea that, elements that are part of a creative, a complex thing like a film, mm -hmm. that the credits and the potential royalties just kind of all flow through in a, in a smart contract way, because right. that's better. You know, we've done plenty of deals where we had distributors, uh, you know, distributing our film, and our first film was like number three on iTunes back in the day when they sold films through iTunes. They don't do that anymore, but uh, back then, and the distributor that we had uh, ended up going out of business. We ended up getting the money. We got our money before they went out of business, but tons of filmmakers just lost their money. Their own money was lost because in the middle, the person or company, essentially, that that was doing unethical things. And so for me, I'm, like, scarred by watching right. middle people essentially do nothing mm -hmm. for the most part, really. Like, the reason why it was on iTunes because people wanted it, not because of this right. middle man, you right. know? And so it's like, what can we do where we get... Not get rid of middle people have a job. They have contributions they make, but they have to make their contributions, right? right? Yeah. And that can be accounted for in theory on the internet computer where there's a percentage for the distributor. But why do we need to wait? And then it takes six months to get paid. So for a filmmaker, it's a nightmare out there because it's like six months to get paid on your stuff. And, and we know through smart contracts that could be instant. Someone rents right. it. Everyone, imagine if everyone who gets a piece of that film gets paid instantly every time right. someone rents it. I mean, that'd be that's the dream, right? People make more films, and people will be able to have, you know, buy their houses and buy their cars and do the things right. that they need to do, you know, daily instead of having to wait six months while they're like practically bankrupt. And you know, I've seen people, yeah. tons of filmmakers. My heart goes out. We've had a lot of success, but not everybody does, mm -hmm. partly because of this these pressures. And I think right. internet computer can literally change that. We just got to get some more tooling and. More traction, too, you know? <clears throat> yeah, and I, I think just, like, looking at that whole timeline, right, where you can also raise money to, um, you know, produce a film, yep. right, mm -hmm. using ICP. Yep. Um, then, like you said, you can assign rights to all the participants Absolutely. using ICP. Yep. You can host the film on ICP and distribute on ICP. You could literally do, and that's the exciting thing, everything can be done on it. Right, and then like I think that can build new communities, like of especially like uh, fans of those films, right? Mm -hmm. Who yeah. can all interact with each other, can become patrons of either the uh, the actors mm -hmm. or the other filmmakers in ways that we couldn't do before. Yeah, like and you could. I was even thinking about this, like doing a thing where every frame in a film was an NFT. 
Oh, and that wow. as people staked their frame, you would actually make part of it. And the more people that staked it, it would be more available for people to watch. Like a documentary that was community driven, that people wanted other people to see, that they had to participate in that. I don't know. There's tons of things that could be done. I mean, it's unbelievably yeah. powerful. And yeah. I think for the most part, we've just begun, really. And I know that's yeah. always what they say, but... I don't think well, people have fully imagined what's possible with this platform. It's insane. Yeah, I think the twenty-year plan that uh, they released, and when I heard about it, yeah, it twenty-year really, plan. I love that. Right, because you, know? yeah, you look at so many roadmaps with so many different projects, and it's mm-hmm. like Q one, Q two, Q three. So you're not even going to tell me what you're going to do in a full year. No, <laughs> like, I don't think they know, and, so. and most projects aren't big enough to even contemplate that. You know, right. they're not trying to replace the internet of course yeah right and so there's tons of things and i and for the most part they've done what they said they were going to do yeah things have kept moving forward it's not it doesn't seem you know i'm not personally wondering if in the future it'll have this or more of that or whatever if they put in the roadmap for the most part they're getting it done and that's right. that's super impressive yeah it's nice it's nice to not be in like a weird ghost project yeah. Well, Aaron, thank you so much for taking you time bet. out uh, from producing and post-producing everything yep. in ICP CC 24. Is there anything else that you'd like to share about what you're doing uh, in the community or about yourself or where people can find you? Gosh, you know, I, I kind of stay a little bit quieter these days because it's been a circus, but um, I'm there. I definitely think people should definitely connect with the swap. You know, like Kyle has been doing amazing work with authenticity, working mm-hmm. his butt off. Um, you know, in a space that's confusing and crazy and always changing, he's done a great job. I want to see people continue. I mean, he has a, a great group of people following the swap. I would love to see more people do it. It's real. This isn't some weird sort of ruggy. It's hard to know who's good people, but Kyle's right, good people. Right. He needs to be followed and supported. Uh, you know, right now, uh, Sydney and Jenny are making this video. You know, that's cool. I'm out here hanging out with you, which is fun. But we got a good team, you know, and I love them. Uh, shout out to Jenny and Sydney for doing that. And then, yeah, follow the swap, code and state. I mean, these are, people are doing cool stuff, you know, yeah. like just people should just get on board, you know, just and they are, but get more. If you're wondering, like, oh, I don't know, I have enough time. There's so many cool, there's tons of random, noisy projects. Ignore those ones, the ones that have been not. First, you need to follow the ones that have been working hard for years. Mm-hmm. Just get behind them. A lot, a lot of new people in the ecosystem. Find the OG projects. Get behind them. Let's get this thing more weight. Let's keep it rolling. Right on. Right on. Awesome. Well, with that, don't just make it a good day. Make it a great day with crypto. Crypto with Kamal. We'll see you on the next one from ICPCC24.